Hey guys, Rorius here. Welcome back to What Remains of Edith Finch. We just experienced quite the strange interaction with Molly, who was both a person and a cat. A relation of ours and a cat. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Oh, this is Edie's room? Oh. He likes birds. Lewis died a week before we left, but uh -huh. Edie had already started to memorialize him. Yeah. What happened to Lewis? Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, <laughs> just in time to replace the old ones. Aw. Uh -huh. <laughs> An old singer uh, sewing machine, by the looks of it. Molly, Barbara, Calvin and Sam, Walter, Dawn, Gus, Gregory, Lewis, Milton, and Edith. Aww. Lewis, 1988 to 2010. Yeah, he was 22 when he died. It's like a museum. Odin, 1980 to 1937. Sven and Edie, yep. Yeah. As I expected. Oh, and they, she's like depicted them as birds. Sven, the like m bird with the hard hat on, and then Edie, <laughs> bird with the little sun hat. Oh. oh, she's got her pill bottles, yep. Shrine sketches. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. <laughs> I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Yeah. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. 72-year-old <laughs> woman refuses to evacuate because of a little forest fire. <laughs> She's like, I'm not afraid of a little forest fire. Built in 1937. Sven Finch. Aww. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, her husband was, a, was building stuff, and he... Dragon kills Finch, yep. Finch family. Tra tragedy strikes at Finch family pond. Celebration turns to mourning. Yeah, so he was building a dragon sh dragon shaped slide. And I'm assuming this dragon is gonna feature, because we've talked about, like, we've seen, like, leviathans and shit already. Yeah. He was crushed by something he was building on. And, um... Yeah, that led to his death. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. <laughs> it's bathroom, is it? Yeah. The Very pink. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Oh. <laughs> it was a pretty big trace. <laughs> yeah. So wait, Sam. This is Sam here. More pills. Mount Rainer National Park. Oh, another book. I didn't mean to go into this straight away. Oops. The Secret in this Bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. <laughs> oh. 
It was stuff I hadn't looked at in the room. <laughs> Shit. Calvin Finch. Can't quite see when he was born, but died in 1961. Sven gave Sam mm. an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. <sighs> Sven gave Sam. Yeah. Um, I just went and had dinner, so I've, I've been interrupted a little bit, but I just suddenly realized when I came back to my chair, <laughs> when I came back here, when I first started the game and I saw that my name was Edith, I was like, what remains of me? <laughs> it was like, is the game, what remains of Edith Finch? But no, of course, we're named after our great-grandmother. So it's, it's what remains of Edith. It's Edith Senior. Finch. Um. Ooh, Mitten. Oh, Milton. Milton, sorry. <laughs> Mitten. <laughs> Fort Calvin. Oop, no, 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 no. We're good. And I want to have a look at the, um... Fort Sam. Calvin was only 11. Why did I get that feeling? I was like, I bet one of them... Yes, oh no, I've seen this before. This door. Where have I seen that? I don't know where I've seen it before, but I've seen this door before. With Sam and Calvin. And you see Calvin, his, his height measurements go up to like 1961 or something. And then they just stop. But Sam's go right through to 1968. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. Oh. They were twins. And that he never talked about him. Oh. <laughs> his brother Calvin was like interested in space. Command center. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this house and its secrets, man. Oh my god, once again, can I just go back for a second? I don't feel like I saw everything in here. <laughs> so yeah, Sam went into the army. He did his things that he wished to do. But Calvin never made it. Yeah, see, I almost missed this. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. <laughs> At Barbara's funeral, we swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I uh -huh. think Calvin always wanted to fly. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Oh, yeah. uh, we Maybe all wanted to do that as a that. kid. <laughs> Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. 
then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already oh, made God. up his mind. He's getting, he's getting That's real close. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Oh my god. Yeah. The day he made up his mind to fly. And he did it. <laughs> uh. Assuming he fell off the cliff. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Yeah. We always wanted to, but it was like never possible. I've seen someone do it on a video before, so I know it nowadays. I know, I know now that it is physically possible. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Right, to keep it the way it was. Yep. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Mm hmm. Well, imagine constantly being reminded of your dead twin. That must do a number on your head. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wonder if this is a shortcut back to previous areas. Or if it's a new area of the house. Whenever people ask me about my family, Barbara Finch. The first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Yeah, so I'm assuming that's she's the famous one of the Katie's family. father Odin built the original house. Ah, but Sven built her a new one. Barbara was a child star for two years, until America grew out of it. Right. Yeah. So that's the shortcut into that section. Oh. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Huh. There's some cable leading up to the top floor. Was this Molly's room? No, it was Calvin and Sam. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Yeah. The rope's back up, even though I took it down. <laughs> That's what I was saying before, though. I was like, that must mess you up. Gregory. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Sven and Edie. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was ten and she was painting my portrait. Hmm. Yeah, I never actually went and looked around at all the rooms. There's Molly's room. So I could go back around and like look through all the rooms again. I'm assuming that's kind of what the deal is, is that we'll just slowly make our way through. Oh, I can't actually go back in there. Oh, yeah, I hope I haven't missed anything. Oh, I can crawl back through here into this into the bathroom. Was there something I missed back here? I feel like I hadn't fully explored the room when I accidentally discovered the way forward. I came in through here. And there was this book over here I didn't read. Well, it was- yeah, that's right. It was a- not a book, but a- For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. <laughs> and misfortune. Ah. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. Oh, there we On go. January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. <laughs> he lived with his house? But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Uh. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. 
His daughter Edie is already Odin. dreaming of a new Finch house. Yeah. So yeah, Odin is Odin and Ingborg are Edie's parents. Edie and Sven are these kids' parents. I'm assuming it's Sam and Kay. Are these ones parents? And Dawn and Sanjay are these ones parents. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Hmm. There's nothing wrong with the family, it's just... They, uh... Oh, Norway. They have a lot of history, and they have a lot of misfortune. Alright, let's try and hit into what I'm assuming is Barbara's room. Entrance to Barbara's room. Yeah. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Yeah. When you when you peak at such a young age, you know, when you have everyone's Oh, that probably is how you crawl back in. My bad. <laughs> when it, when you're you're at the like height of everyone's attention and you're height of your success when you're like a literal child. And then suddenly you don't have that anymore and you don't know why. You don't know what's changed. Well, you might know what's changed, but there's no way to change, you know, to fix that. That must do a, a like, that must mess with your brain. 44 to 60. So was she 16 when she died? Jesus. Happy birthday, Barbara. How is that still there and not completely ravished with mold? <laughs> Bob Street. Wait, did she die? There's something about a house fire. She didn't die in a house fire, did she? Oh, she has one of those clocks. They're famous. Anyway, let's uh, have a look at this. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. <laughs> Old Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Hmm. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. <whistles> now it's sixteen. Oh, I see. She was all washed up. A has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately. Her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... <laughs> now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Uh. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums in Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... You're right! Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. 
So Barbara went to look for him. Right on cue. She reached for the music box. It even has the hand. From the UI in the game. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick. But the house was silent. Oh my god, the Michael Myers music. She found and I have control. And imagine the worst. <laughs> Skull. I love the Michael Myers music. <laughs> it's so good. I wonder if they got <laughs> I wonder if they got permission to use it. Oh. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Ah. <laughs> this is freaking out of the way. <laughs> this is cool, I like this. <laughs> I knew it. Oh. Rick? Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not <laughs> scared, Rick. I'm furious. <laughs> then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... <laughs> She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. <laughs> Again. I can't knock things over like I could in the basement. six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity oh i returned saw the hook man and was speechless he was quite smashing <laughs> an elaborate prank, isn't it? She thought about abandoning Walter, but just couldn't do it. Molly's door hadn't been opened in years. The hinges grow. Okay. Walter? Where are you, Walter? Uh, <laughs> I'm playing out of a comic. Oh, 
Walter? <laughs> Where are you, Walter? He's not there anymore, is he? No, he's not. The hookman had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was... <laughs> I love the music, it's so good. Inside the house. Oh my god. <gasps> oh dear. That's like me. That's what. I'm... Oh my god. And she saw what kind of monsters they were. And she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. <laughs> of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. Uh. It's all pretty hard. Uh. Right? That's another story. As for Barbara, Tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why, did, why did Edie save that one? That's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a messed up Edie tale. Told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd uh, as that comic was. I suppose, yeah. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Yeah, as Barbara got to be famous. I suppose. <laughs> still, still a little weird. Well. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a little messed up, but yeah. All right, well, I'm assuming the whole point of that was that it taught me that, um, I still can't go through the door. It taught me that I can get, how to, it taught me how to get into the basement. I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Hmm. Is it, if you play with the music box, you're eventually gonna find out how to get the key to the basement. Is it getting darker in here? Is it like getting closer to nighttime? It almost feels like that. I did play with the music box. It didn't work. I, I didn't... Because I didn't keep twisting it. There we go. Uh, yeah, well. This is the basement, and I think we're gonna leave this here. I'll just step down into the basement and uh, we'll continue what remains of Eva Finch in the next episode. <laughs> I try to, as I said in the previous episode, trying to keep these nice and short for future me, editing Rory, as well as you guys so that you have some bite-sized stuff while I'm busy working uh, another job. <laughs> so if you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. Check the links in the description for my social media pages and my merchandise store page. Uh, Hit that bell to get notified of some videos. Hit that share to share the series with your friends. And until the next episode of What Remains of Edith Finch, 